You know, we still have a few hours of rain, yeah. so those roads could be covered uh, with water, with rainwater in the next several hours, so be careful. And you talk about trees, property damage from trees can occur anytime, especially after a tropical system like the one we're seeing now. First thing you typically do if a tree falls on someone else's property is to contact your insurance company. But what about when the trees causing damage on your property or actually your neighbor's trees? Who's liable for that damage and will your homeowner's insurance cover the damage? Christy Calcagno sat down with the Midlands attorney to find out. When a powerful storm like Idalia moves through, we expect to see some trees fall. We also expect to see some damage, but sometimes it's not clear who exactly is expected to pay for it. Now, if a neighbor's tree falls into your yard or house, are they responsible for it? The answer is sometimes. Here in South Carolina, the neighbor is responsible for the tree if it was visibly dead or decaying. But if the tree was healthy and there is no sign of death or disease, they can argue that it was caused by an act of God. In situations where you had no reason to know that something on your property would blow over or on somebody's house or something like that, then that's considered an act of God. What's not considered an act of God is if you have a tree that everybody knows is dying. It's been there, unfortunately, it's a beautiful oak tree, been there for 150 years. Um, every storm season, a lot of the branches fall off. It's a, it's a risk to everybody. Midland's attorney Tyler Bailey says that it's important to look at your insurance policy to see what's covered. Also, if there is a tree that's a problem that's on your neighbor's property, talk to your neighbor before it's too late. There's a lot of resources out there for flood damage, storm damage, trees, questions that are out there. And it's really best to look in these situations before the storm, because once the damage happens, at that point it's crisis mode. So here's a checklist for storm damage. First, if you have diseased or dead trees in your yard, have them removed immediately. Next, if a neighbor's tree does fall onto your property and causes injury or damage, take pictures. You want any evidence that you can show that the tree was dead or diseased when it fell. And finally, check your insurance to make sure you're covered. In the studio, I'm Christy Calcagno, News 19 WLTX. If your home was damaged during a disaster and repairs are not covered by insurance, you may qualify for a FEMA grant to make it safe and livable. A quick break.